Great gig in the sky! Welcome to another episode of Trippy Food and another installment of Hot Nudes, which is not at all what you think it is. So, uh, we're doing hot noodles today, and uh, these are instant ramens. They're three different instant ramens, and um, I, I was kind of collecting these, and I was going to do them as individual ones and everything. I just thought I would put them all together, and they're very interesting ones, I think. So, uh, the first one that we're going to do is uh, Tapatio brand, and everyone knows Tapatio from their hot sauce. But uh, they have their own brand of ramen noodles, uh, salsa picante ramen noodle soup, shrimp flavor. I don't know if there's shrimp in it or shrimp flavor. Uh, all these can be done in the microwave, but they can also be done by pouring hot water in it, which we're going to do because we don't have a microwave oven. So, uh, oh, big bowl, big bowl grande. Um, so, top teal, uh, that looks interesting. And it's shrimp flavored, so, so something a little bit different. Uh, this one, as a matter of fact, uh, these all have different flavoring than typically what we try, because typically the ramen noodles that we tried have been chicken flavored, even though they're the extra hot ones and you don't taste it, and all you hate, taste is heat and pepper. But these, these, a lot of these are uh, different flavored than what we're typically, what we've typically done. Uh, this one is a brand called Mei Jang. I believe I'm saying that right. Mei Jang uh, noodle soup, hot, spicy, and uh, this is uh, Tom Yum flavored. So uh, Tom Yum, Tom Yum is a uh, Thai soup. It, uh, it's made with lemongrass. It's a little bit uh, sour, um, and it's, um, there's a lot of tomato in it. And so uh, this is something different. I'm gonna try that. Uh, and then last, and certainly not least, is Nissen. Nissen, I think I'm saying that right. Uh, Nissen is one of the most popular brands of instant ramens. Uh, every college student probably knows what Nissen is. But uh, they have their own hot and spicy Chili sauce packet included, no added MSG, fiery beef, a lot of words on this one. Fiery beef flavor and other, art, uh, oh, I'm sorry, are there natural flavors? So there's natural flavor beef, so that's kind of cool. And they have uh, the, the pepper rating, and it's two out of three peppers. So hopefully this is gonna be hot. Um, these, I have a feeling these are like American made, and, and so if they're American made, then the heat's gonna be toned down somewhat, I think, but we'll find out. So. Again, uh, this is two minutes, uh, I'm sorry, this is three minutes with hot water, this is three minutes with hot water, this is four minutes with hot water. Uh, I just heated the water up, so let's go ahead and get started on this. Let's try to get started. Here we go. And again, it's pull it back halfway. This has three packets in it. Wow, look at this. Three packets. So there's, uh, looks like chili sauce. And I'm not sure what that is. And, uh, and I'm not sure what that is because there's no names on it. Okay, so uh, since we're probably gonna be doing these not at the same time and everything, I'm gonna use this stopwatch instead of the timer. I'll let that go. We have three minutes for this one. Oh, let's, uh, let's put in the packets first. like uh, Szechuan peppercorns. I wonder if they are. Now oh, there's some green stuff in there. There's some stuff that looks like uh, elbow macaroni. And I hope this isn't a desiccant. You know that little packet of silicon that they put in there to keep it from, keep moisture from getting into it? No, it doesn't look like it. Looks like uh, some sort of spicy powder. There we go. And we fill the water up to the line. And there we go. And put the top back on. All right, so that's at 121. So we want uh, 521. Let's see if we can do this quickly. nondescript packets. This is supposed to be Tom Yum, but I don't see any. Tom Yum usually has chunks of vegetables and seafood in it. 
And I don't see that. I just see a paste. Maybe it's a shrimp paste. And again, uh, spicy powder, I think, that's what this is. And we fill this up to the line. Cover that. Ooh, that one had, to, had a really strong smell. And last but not least, the tapatio. This one takes four minutes. I should have done this one first. It has a, it has a packet in it and it just says shrimp. So, I need the shrimps in the packet. And it's just powder. Kind of weird. It also has that, you know, that dried, you know, corn and vegetables, like you typically have with a cup of soup. I fill this one to the line. This one has a higher line. There we go. All right, and that one goes four minutes. So, let's weight that down. Now, now it's just a waiting game. I think this is probably gonna be ready. Yep, noodles are soft. It's a really weird color. It's Christmassy. There's some dark green, some red in there. Okay, I think this one's gonna be ready. I think they'll all probably be ready by the time I get to them. Okay, I'm gonna take the, the lids off of these to make it easier to eat. Man, it's a lot of noodles. All right, varying colors too. This one's like a dark brown, this one's a um, reddish, and this one's a dark red. Kinda weird. All right, well, I guess we just start in order. Um, I use the chopsticks and we'll go to the fork if we need to. And maybe we can go to the spoon for some of the broth. Let's see how the broth is. And the broth is the key part of any good noodle dish, right? Like pho, you can't have, I mean, noodles are probably the least important part about the pho. The broth is the most important part. Now let's give this a shot. This is the hot and spicy, fiery beef. So this should have a beef flavor, probably why it's dark brown, because it's natural flavors too, so let's see. Ooh, that does have a kick. But I can't say it has a strong beef flavor though. Oh, and look, the piece of packet we lost. Let's try some more. It has a slow burn though, and it does catch up with you. It does come in afterwards. No, it's not bad. Maybe it could be a little bit beefier, have a little bit beefier flavor, but it's not bad. I mean, it's there. It's just really subtle. It's not bad. Let's try the Tom Young. Yum. He's saying Young. Like Mighty Tom Young, the big gorilla. That was Joe Young. Never mind. Um, and, and for me, it's kind of weird because usually if I have a Tom Yum, uh, there's, like I said, there's pieces of vegetables in there and some seafood, but uh, you know, they don't in this one. But let's, let's see if it has that flavor. Should be easy. They probably use the dry, dry shrimp paste, I'm sure. A lot of nudes right there. There we go.
I don't know, this one, it doesn't quite have that sour, that sourness that t uh, t Tom Yum typically does. Let's try the broth. I'm gonna try some of the broth with a spoon. Let's see if it's in there. It's there a little, a little bit more if you're just drinking the broth, but it should have that tanginess, that almost vinegar sourness to it. And it kind of doesn't, which is a little bit disappointing. And I can't say that the shrimp is like a really strong taste in there either. So now let's try the tapatio. It says chunks of something in there. No, I guess not. Little bits of vegetable, I think is that, that's all that is. Trying to make sure it's nice and wet with the broth. Now you hope this has a tapatio flavor to it, right? Because it's tapatio brand. It should have a tapatio flavor to it. I would think it'd be like a more Mexican flavored ramen. Like, um, you know, if it's shrimp, like it should be like a enchilada, I mean, um, it should be like a camarones diablo. That's really disappointing on the heat and on the shrimp flavor. Okay, let me go ahead and rate these. I'm gonna break this one the best because it, um, although it's not really strong beef taste, there is a little bit of beef taste in there, but it's it says hot and spicy and this one is hot and spicy. So this one is definitely the spiciest. Um, let's see, uh, number two, I think I'm gonna go with the um, tapatio. Tastes a little bit like tapatio, doesn't really taste like shrimp. Uh, it's more mild than I would like. I would like to have been a little bit spicier, but you know, it is what it is. And then uh, lastly, I'm gonna do the Tom Yum, only because it just doesn't, ha it doesn't have that, that flavor that you get from Tom Yum, that kind of like sour and, and uh, rich and seafoody flavor from here. You know, it's not bad, but it's just, it just really doesn't deliver where it says that it's supposed to be Tom Yum flavor. So, uh, Three different hot noodles, if you want to give these a try. Uh, I think I got these at, at uh, uh, the... I think I got these at uh, Kroger store, which was uh, Ralph's in our area. Was, uh, so I think you can get these at a mainstream store. I don't think you have to go to any Asian market or anything to get these. Uh, and they're worth a shot. I mean, especially with winter coming up, if you store these, that makes a nice lunch on a cool day. Any one of these would be good, but again, my favorite, I think, is going to be this uh, Nissan Fiery Beef one. I think I like that one. And they seem to deliver on the heat and, um, and on more flavor, too. So uh, there it is. Uh, give those a shot if you so desire. Uh, makes a nice lunch, like I said. But remember, it's crazy out there. So please, take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Be careful. And we'll see you soon. I want more of this. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.